Dear students, today we have come up with another example of control structure using if statement. In the previous module, we have learned the concept of if statement with a small example. So today we will further practice another example using the same if statement. So for example, we want to award the scholarship to a student and that scholarship will only be awarded if the student has achieved the CGPA of 3.0 or above. Otherwise, the scholarship will not be awarded. So such a statement will be written like this. So for example, we have float CGPA and that is for example 3.5. So if we say if CGPA is greater than equal to 3.0 then C out give scholarship else else means otherwise if the condition is false then we want to say sorry you do not deserve for scholarship so what do you think what would be the output of this program if it is being executed in online C++ compiler? So as the CGPA is 3.5, it will come over this instruction. So 3.5 is greater than or equal to 3. Condition is for true. So it will output give scholarship. And the message sorry you do not deserve for scholarship will only be displayed if this float variable contains the value less than 3.0. So we need to say float cgpa is assigned by 3.5. So what does it mean? There will be a memory location in the RAM that will be referenced with the name cgpa and the 3.5 value will be assigned to that CGPA variable. So then we are saying if CGPA is greater than or equal to 3.0 then C out wow you have qualified for the scholarship and else see out sorry you do not qualify for the scholarship. Yes. So as we discussed that currently CGPA contains the value of 3.5 and this if statement will be true as 3.5 is greater than or equal to 3.0. So we will get the message wow you have qualified for the scholarship. And however, this statement will not be executed as it is the otherwise part, the else part of this if statement. So if, if this statement is incorrect, then this statement will be executed. So let's start. So, wow, you have qualified for the scholarship. So let's change the CGPA by any value which is less than 3. So let's say 2.9. 6. So 2.96 is still less than 3. So what it will display? 
let's see so as 2.96 here is less than 3.0 so this statement has not executed and the sorry statement has executed that sorry you do not qualify for the scholarship and you must also understand even if you write 2.99 even then the same statement will be executed so maybe the humans can understand that this guy or this student has achieved very close to the three and he or she should be given the scholarship as he or she has achieved 2.9999 cgpa but the c++ will not understand it as it is a computer and it has been built by us and we have asked this computer that you should check it whether it is greater or equal to exactly 3.0 so in this case if for example you want to give leverage to this student you can say anyone getting greater than equal to 2.9 should get the scholarship so then wow you have qualified for the scholarship so coming back to our module that we have learned about if statement and another example that how it is working and if we summarize today's module we have given a very real example that how the scholarship is given to students based on a criteria and that criteria need to be coded mentioned and implemented using the language construct control structure if statement